In lab 25, we're supposed to determine the purpose of this cross site script proof of concept. Using the echo page, we transfer the script over here into the message field and then hit echo message. We notice that the cross site script causes a pop up box to appear. But what was the purpose of formatting the script that way? Since we ran this through Burp Suite, we can go look at the request and the response to figure out what actually happened. We go to this last request and response. We notice that the cross site script alert statement was passed into the message parameter. We come over to the response and we'll search for the word alert since we know that was in the payload. We find three matches. We click on the little matches button here until we get to our injection point and we see our script tag is embedded inside of a div element. So the page was processing HTML, but then it ran into the injected script. At this point, the browser switched modes from processing to HTML and it sent the script for processing into the JavaScript engine, which executed the script as we saw in the demo. And then the page can go back to processing the HTML as before. Let's do it again. We'll copy the scripts, paste it into the field. We'll see the pop-up, but before we click through, we'll notice that the page is stuck. It's waiting for us to click the OK button and then it can go back to processing the HTML once we click the OK button and the rest of the page is rendered. So over here in the answers, we see the best answer is that the injection happens to land with an HTML and the script element tells the browser to stop processing the HTML for a moment, execute the JavaScript and then go back to the HTML. So that's the best answer.